Hey everybody, I hope that uh, you are doing well and staying safe out there. Um, this is the uh, third in a series about optimism that I'm going to be uh, putting out there on YouTube and uh, sharing through my Facebook page. Yesterday I talked a little bit about, so a quick summary of where we've been <laughs> so far. Uh, the topic of optimism, okay, and the basis for it being events happen, you have an emotional reaction to them, and then there's thoughts that follow, okay? And in the first point, I, I asked you to think a little bit about um, events that trigger different emotions in you, and then what thoughts follow from that. Yesterday we talked about a, a specific category of thoughts. That was time, the likelihood that you think an event is going to happen or something like it happens again in the future. Today we're going to talk about environment, and that is what kinds of things you tell yourself about the people, place, uh, location that you're in. Okay, so let me put it in a more specific sports context. This is uh, what kind of thoughts you might have about the people that are on your team, your teammates, your coaches, your um, team in general that you're a part of, the competition you're taking part in, where the competition is located, okay? Um, and so all that stuff is um, uh, going to trend in, along two poles. Either you will uh, uh, explain that all of those sort of environmental factors um, are uh, really good and you, you have really sort of positive vibes, for lack of a better term, about them, or you might start making explanations. So one of the, you know, very, again, to get drilled down to another lower, sort of more specific layer, one, one example I always use is an academic one. Let's say you do, because this, this was me <laughs> back, uh, back in the day. You know, let's say you get a bad grade. Okay, um, and you're embarrassed about it. It's happened to me many times. Got a bad grade, I was embarrassed about it. And what did I tell myself um, in that moment? Well, I told myself a lot of pessimistic things. I told myself that I wasn't, it wasn't a good school. Even though it, I was going to a good school, you know, I thought this school's stupid. My teacher sucks. Um, and uh, I didn't have so much thoughts about the other people, um, although the people that do did well, you know, somehow I think mentally I worked a little bit to diminish what they were doing. Okay, so that's, a, that's an example of a very pessimistic uh, reaction to an adverse event. However, um, let's say uh, I had done well, it would be optimistic to say that, um, that I was going to a good school and that my teacher was good. And then I had good classmates who were, you know, contributing to a better environment for me to learn in. And we had a nice school building. All that kind of stuff um, is in, in the environmental. So um, the flip side being, let's say, um, uh, reacting optimistically to an adverse event in terms of environment, you might say that... Um, that it had nothing to do with the school that you're at, that it had nothing to do with whether your teacher was um, good or not, <laughs> and um, it had nothing to do with uh, web, you know, the quality of your classmates or whatever. Um, reacting pessimistically, to a positive event, and again, positive event in this context is all about the emotion. What kind of emotion are you experiencing? So it's gonna be a positive emotion, things are going, uh, usually when things are going well, that's where you'll uh, get that. And um, you might uh, sort of work to discount it. Yeah, sure, I did well, but um, in many ways it was a freak occurrence. And the way that's different from the time explanation is, you know, uh, again, you disassociate it from the environment that you're in. You say, uh, I had nothing to do with my teacher or the, the school that I go to or, or any of that kind of stuff. Um, so g give a think as you start to uh, work through 
some stuff in, in optimism, give a think to um, what kinds of things you tell yourself about the environment that you're in. See you tomorrow.